International Feminist Strike on March 8th. Extra, extra, read all about it. Women of the world are going on strike to protest male violence in general. I'm sure the patriarchy is shaking in his boots. His, the the boat, the boots of the patriarch. Okay, whatever. Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and it seems that what is left of fourth wave feminism is still convinced that if they kick and scream enough, they might be able to hold on to the power that they have been steadily losing with their misguided antics since 2015. You see, According to the feminist rag posing as a legitimate publication known as The Guardian, there is a women's strike being planned for March 8th, which is basically the next installment of the Women's March on Washington, in which many delusional feminists who attended actually believe was a roaring success. Because, like taking a bunch of molly and taking your clothes off at a rave, I'm sure it felt good at the time. These feminists seem to have no idea that the rest of the world was mostly laughing at them. And if you look at this article about the strike on March 8th, it shows yet again that there isn't any real specific purpose for the continuing protests besides a hodgepodge of intersectional jargon about helping out women of color, etc. As feminists don't like Trump, so they should protest things very generally because basically he's a mean man this international women's strike that they are proposing for march 8th will have the wonderfully specific focus of rallying against male violence and considering we live in a year where most feminists think that words are violence that's about as broad of a goal imaginable for a protest let alone a strike i mean seriously A day-long strike to end male violence? Women all over the world are supposedly going to be skipping work so that men will presumably stop being mean? How do they expect their employers to react? A strike, more so than a general protest on Inauguration Day, is a very specific action which is supposed to have a very specific set of demands behind it. Here. Take a look at the way the article attempts to be more specific about what these nasty women want and how exactly they define male violence. Of course, it's anything and everything they can possibly think of that might affect the poor women's, including, for some reason, mass incarceration, which is very specifically a male issue. In embracing feminism for the 99%, We take inspiration from the Argentinian coalition Ni Unas Menos. Violence against women, as they define it, has many facets. It is domestic violence, but also the violence of the market, of debt, of capitalist property relations, and of the state. The violence of discriminatory police against lesbian, trans, and queer women. The violence of state criminalization of migratory movements the violence of mass incarceration, and the institutional violence against women's bodies through abortion bans and lack of access to free healthcare and free abortion. Their perspective informs our determination to oppose the institutional, political, cultural, and economic attacks on Muslim and migrant women, on women of color and working and unemployed women, on lesbian, gender non-conforming, and trans women. The Women's March on 21 January have shown that in the United States, too, a new feminist movement may be in the making. It is important not to lose momentum. Huh. Yeah. And so, here's my message to feminists who are considering walking out of work on March 8th to protest the constant onslaught of male violence in all of the ways described in this article. Do it. Please do it. Each and every feminist who still believes that they can accomplish something with protest activism in the current year should go on strike. Tell your bosses to go fuck themselves for the day while you join your sisters arm in arm in the streets, probably wearing your pink pussy hat from the other protest while you have absolutely zero specific demands from government or your own place of employment. 
please show the American people exactly how necessary you are as feminist workers. Please show the 53% of white female voters in the USA that you aren't putting up with their shit either. I imagine it will be just like that strike in Iceland in 1975, where 90% of all women went on strike for the day and put the entire country on hold, getting them exactly what they wanted. Fourth wave intersectional feminism is clearly just getting started, and you have nothing to lose but your chains. Please do skip out on work that day and tell your boss exactly why. Or at least direct them to a Guardian article about it if you can't really explain it easily. I'm sure absolutely none of you will possibly get fired, just so long as they give their bosses the Guardian link. Everything will be fine. Just walk out of work. It'll be cool. That's all I have as a video for this evening. Drop me a comment and stay tuned.